Types of psoriasis. There are several different types of psoriasis. The most common forms of psoriasis are plaque psoriasis and guttate psoriasis. Psoriasis can appear anywhere on the body, but commonly affects the elbows, knees, torso and scalp. Plaque psoriasis. This type of psoriasis is characterized by well-defined, disc-shaped salmon pink to red plaques covered by silvery white scales and most commonly occurs on elbows, knees and scalp. 80 to 90% of all psoriasis patients suffer from plaque psoriasis. Guttate psoriasis. This type of psoriasis is characterized by small, raindrop-like areas of dry red plaques, usually on trunk and limbs. This form mostly occurs in adolescents or young adults and may follow a streptococcal throat infection. It usually occurs as a single episode, which is temporary. Three less common types of psoriasis are flexular, postular and erythrodermic psoriasis. Flexular psoriasis. This type of psoriasis is characterized by smooth glazed plaques which occur in folds or flexures of skin such as the armpits, groin, skin under the breast or between the buttocks. Genital psoriasis occurs in a third of patients. This form of psoriasis can sometimes be confused with other types of skin conditions such as fungal infections. Postular psoriasis. This type of psoriasis is characterized by redness, scaling and pustules normally affecting the palms and feet. However, in rare cases, large areas of the body can be affected. Erythrodermic psoriasis. This severe form of psoriasis is very rare. The psoriasis can spread to cover the entire skin, resulting in the need for hospitalization. Other features of psoriasis. Nail psoriasis is seen in 25 to 50 percent of patients and is more common in older patients. Nail changes include pitting, small indentations on the nail, and separation from the nail bed. Psoriatic arthritis affects 6 to 10 percent of the psoriasis sufferers. It can be confused with other forms of arthritis, but it is rarely debilitating. Scalp psoriasis affects 50 percent of psoriasis sufferers. The scalp may be the only site affected and therefore can be confused with dandruff. People with mild scalp psoriasis will have dry and flaky scalps, while those with more severe scalp psoriasis will have large plaques with thick scales.